Graced with Spanish moss and southern charm, Georgia's oldest city is perched by the waters of the Savannah River, which glide eastward towards the North Atlantic Ocean. Just a two-hour flight south of New York, Savannah greets travelers with open arms. It charms all who come with historic splendor, bewitching tales, natural delights, and Southern comfort flavors. Welcome to the hostess city of the South. In 1733, a group of carefully selected settlers led by James Oglethorpe embarked on an epic voyage across the Atlantic to establish the colony of Georgia. They found the perfect location for their new colonial capital 17 miles inland from the mouth of the Savannah River. In one of the earliest examples of Southern hospitality, the settlers were welcomed peacefully by the native Yamacra tribe. The new township thrived free of the bloodshed which had stained the beginnings of many American colonies. Dreaming of a new world utopia, Oglethorpe envisioned a city overflowing with lush open squares. These generous green spaces are where the city comes to breathe and have earned Savannah its second nickname, the Forest City. Start your journey in Savannah's historic downtown, where one of these iconic squares is never more than a five-minute walk away. Each is an oasis of natural gifts, from the sweet aroma of magnolia and crepe myrtle to the ethereal beauty of ancient oaks. Just as the city's oaks are festooned with Spanish moss, so too are her streets embedded with stories. Admire the exhibits at the Savannah History Museum, where treasures from the past bring Georgia's last three centuries to life. Savannah's history is not confined to its many museums, it's alive in the bustling laneways and courtyards of City Market, a hub of modern Southern style. Despite a culture of revitalization, many of the city's historic houses have been lovingly preserved. Visit Davenport House, saved from the developer's wrecking ball in the 1950s by the determined ladies of the historic Savannah Foundation. Tucked away in a leafy corner of Oglethorpe Square is Owens Thomas House and slave quarters. Wander the extravagantly furnished halls and learn about Savannah's upper class, whose wealth was built on the toil of enslaved men, women, and children. Then step inside the humble slave quarters for a glimpse into the injustices suffered by the black people who were imprisoned here. Finally, call into the Telfair Academy a fine example of 1820s grandeur, which became the very first art museum in the South. The historic heart of Savannah is a vibrant melting pot of past and present. Wander along River Street, cobbled with ballast stones, which arrived in the bellies of trading vessels from across the globe. Today, funky restaurants, breweries, and shops have taken up residence in the cotton warehouses of old. If 
you like your southern fare served with a side of spooky, weigh anchor and drift on over to Pirate's House, Savannah's oldest building. Once frequented by rowdy seafarers and unsavory characters, today the tavern continues to serve thirsty travelers and lovers of ghost stories. Tales of paranormal oddities abound in the city of Savannah. Take a horse-drawn carriage to Laurel Grove Cemetery, where restless spirits are said to lurk among the headstones. Moss-laden crypts and mausoleums can also be found at the Bonaventure Cemetery, made famous by the best-selling novel Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Pay your respects at the hauntingly sweet burial site of Little Gracie, where they say the child spirit plays with toys left at her grave. But fear not, despite reports of ghostly apparitions, Savannah knows how to soothe travelers with comfort food. Share a meal of homestyle Southern fare with neighbors and strangers at the communal tables of Mrs. Wilkes' dining room. Then head to Leopold's and savor a scoop of creamy goodness from a 100-year-old ice cream parlor. Once your belly is full, continue your historic buffet three miles east of the city at Old Fort Jackson, a Confederate bastion during the Civil War. Travel further east to hear the crack of the 19th century cannon fire at Fort Pulaski National Monument, a Civil War stronghold overrun by Union troops after a grueling 30-hour siege. After experiencing the gun smoke of Civil War history, cool off at nearby Tybee Island, a popular weekend getaway for generations of Georgian families. On your way back to the city, be sure to stop at the Wormslow Historic Site. Cruise down the Avenue of Oaks, then explore the tabby ruins of the estate of Noble Jones, one of Georgia's earliest colonists. Back in Savannah's downtown, soak up the burgeoning creative scene in the Starland District. This area is also home to the Forest City's 30-acre green gem, Forsyth Park, where the waters of the city symbol sing their timeless song to all who pass. So come, traveler. Come to a destination which opens its arms in welcome. Be embraced by the hostess city of the South. Eat of her bounty be swept up in her stories, and fall in love with her irresistible southern charms. Chances are, you'll want to linger here for a while. <laughs>